This week I went to three thrift stores and this bag right here, there's a Movado. The bag was six bucks. Most of these look like junk, but this one right here is the one I'm interested in. I'll see if it's real. The next thrift store, they were selling these for a dollar a piece. So I was able to cherry pick some really cool ones. It's always interesting to see what you're gonna find. Here's a company of watch that Rolex just bought this year. Let's open up this stuff and see what we got. So all together we have about $25. Pocket watch was sold as is for 10 bucks. It stops and starts, but it's working pretty well right now. What's cool about this one is it has a stopwatch, so you can get it to move, stop it, and then reset it. Open it up, you can see it's just take a look inside the case. It's Silveroid, which I believe has been around from the 1800s. The word might suggest that it's made out of silver, but it's actually copper nickel. In working order, this would go for about 75 bucks. This one's made by Standard Watch Company in New York. A really neat one I did not see in that junk bag. An old cocktail watch, a Wittenauer, and the stones are actually real. 17 joule movement, stops and starts. If I add oil to the pivots, it runs a little better, but it still needs a full clean. The band is gold filled. What a pretty watch. This will be a fun one to get running again. If this one runs, it's probably 50 to 60 Another one in that bag, a Timex. Overall, nice shape. Nothing scratched or dinged up too bad. I'd say 30 or $40. A no-name cuff watch, not worth much. Here's another one. Not worth much, but it does have a working battery. Here's a mechanical Timex. We'll pull the back off. This one will stop and start. Clean it up with a sonic cleaner. Picked up at a thrift store for three bucks. Kind of looks like 29, but it's this three bucks. It's been working real nice. I mean, look at all the dirt in there. We pour in some mineral spirits. You can see the movement just has all that dirt on it. Give it a little shake and it starts right up. Turn it on. I'll give it about 20 seconds. I don't want to overdo it. You can already see quite a bit of debris coming out of there. It's a second hand move, and it's cool to see these things come back to I'll life. let this run for a couple days. We'll get some of these junk ones out of the way so we can check out this Movado. We'll open it up and see if it's real. Just from the back, it looks real. No junk movement in there. This one's real. For a quartz movement, that's real nice. Amazing. Real nice shape. $300 minimum for like six bucks At that we paid. a quick pay. glance, you don't see a name on it, just looks like another junk watch. So far for the 25 bucks, we're doing pretty well. This pink one looks pretty cheap, but actually it's a Swatch watch from the 82. Here on the end, you can see Swatch. It's easy to dismiss something like this. It's all plastic, even this little clasp up here. This one's actually in pretty good shape, no scratches or dings all over it. I'd say $50 minimum, but these things can go for a few hundred bucks. It doesn't look like much set up next to the Movado. On this next one, I paid the full three bucks on it. Carvel by Bolova. Crystal's in good shape. There is some wear on the gold here. Even in this condition, it's probably 35 bucks. Look at this one next. This is that company that Rolex just purchased this year. Not even sure exactly how to say the name, Booker. Here's something I've noticed. If you ever see a watch that has an inscription on it, it's usually not a cheap watch. We'll pull the back off. Yeah, that's cool. This one's in really nice shape. I'll have to do some research on this one, but at least 150 bucks. This one was just sitting there with all the junk watches for a dollar. Here's a Timex, wound all the way up, kind of discolored. It's hard getting the back off of this one. Looks like it hit the water. We'll add the movement into the paint thinner. So far, there's no movement at all. We'll let it soak in there for a couple days. We paid a dollar. We'll see if we get anywhere with it. A uh, Mickey watch for a dollar, that's worth a try. These things jump all over the place with price, starting at about 15 bucks and going up from Here's there. Here's an old fossil with a moon dial on it. The moon dial brings the price up a little Conservatively, bit. Conservatively, I'd say 40 to 45 bucks. Here's the Citizens, picked this one up for a dollar. Really nice shape, I'd say 30 bucks there. Picked up this Tweety Bird for about three dollars. Unfortunately, the condition on this one's not terrific. There's scratches on the glass here. In good condition, this goes for over 50 bucks. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. We've got this retro Timex. Really nice shape, not scratched up. Looks really cool. Wound all the way to the top, doesn't run. If this ran, I'd say 40 bucks on this one. When you get those junk bags, you end up with a lot of junk watches, but we've got some nice ones too. For 25 bucks, there's some real fun stuff here.